Okay, picking up from last video, um, I'm back in the control options again. I have changed a couple options. I put the capture filter back to the default of picking up everything. Uh, I left it as local, and I'm letting it collect data over the Ethernet. I have all these options highlighted, so that way it automatically goes through the packets in real time and scrolls through them as they're displayed. I'm going to leave the uh, default of enabling uh, network name resolution off. Okay, then once you have all your options set in the place, you want to click start, and as soon as you click start, it's going to capture every packet that is being sent through your computer because we are going through the local interface and anywhere it goes on the network, whether that be a router or anything on the internet. So I'm going to hit start. Now there's not much traffic going on because I'm not really doing anything yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up Firefox. Uh, type in the Google here. I'm going to type in the Wireshark homepage. I'm going to Google for that. And then I'm going to go to the website. <clears throat> and just that, I'm going to stop the capture for right now. And just by going to the Wireshark homepage, you're going to see this object got turned off. How do we fix that? Okay. You're going to see we captured 200 packets. And that's just the Google search for Wireshark and then going to Wireshark's page. Now you're going to see some ARP IP resolution protocols, some DNS, TCP, everything's in there, HTTP. And then, so we're just going to click in here to show you some options of what it's going to show you. Uh, you can go into the frame, and this will give you the time that it was sent, the date, and what the time zone was that the host machine was sending from. Epoch time is uh, the time from the beginning of recorded time in seconds. So that could be decoded into this time up here. Uh, Wireshark also displays what the time was from the previous packet being captured till this packet being captured and being displayed. The reference time from when the first packet got captured. So in essence, the time that you started the capture in general. It gives you the frame length in bytes and bits uh, gives you the frame number so this was the 156th packet that was captured gives you various flags for the frame uh, the protocols used Ethernet because it was being sent through an Ethernet connection IP because it was an internet protocol and TCP uh, in this case because it was sent through web uh, then it gives you the reasoning why it colored the different packets, different colors up in here. Because they are color-coded, and that's an option you could change, which I'll show later. Then you go in Ethernet 2, and what this information is going to give you is the destination, and in this case this packet was being sent to my computer. So this is going to give you my MAC address and my IP address and what type of version it was sent over. In this case it was unicast, so it was only sent to me. And then you're also going to see the source, and this is the terminal that it came from. Not necessarily a computer, but it could also be a router or a server, and so forth. And that's all contained in the Ethernet. And even in here you can see the quick option where it tells you the IPv6 number and then you can go into the IP protocol and this is for IP version 4 again it gives you the IP of the source and destination and in here it's going to give you different header information the flags that are set and it's going to even give you the breakdown of what the different flags are for each bit that's set scroll down here and this header saying that the checksum 
is saying that the checksum has correlated with what it should be, meaning that the packet was sent uninterrupted or uncorrupted. Close this. And then you're going to go to the TCP protocol, which was the other protocol, because it has listed, if you remember back here in the frame, it lists Ethernet, IP, and TCP. So in that case, it's going to show you all the protocols that were used, such as the Ethernet, the IP, and the TCP, and then the various information that was sent through those. TCP here showing that it was an HTTP, so it was a web page, and it went through the standard port of 80, or in this case, it's source, so that means, uh, yeah, it was coming from internet and the port it was received on and then the acknowledgement number and the sequence number acknowledgement number being that it had telling the sending computer that it has indeed received this packet also indicated by the acknowledge flag that's set here saying that it acknowledged the packet information that is received and this is just a general overview of a packet uh, you may be wondering why this is actually black with the red and that's because somewhere something has not come through correctly and in this case it's the internet protocol and if you go drill your way down through here it'll show you what the problem was and here you can see that it actually failed its checksum meaning that the packet did not come in complete 